I'm sure. You don't 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 all right over there? No, I, I'm. Uh, I made some mistakes last night while I was sleeping, and uh, it's gotten off to a rough start. Okay. Um, this thing is at some arbitrary yeah. height. Let's move that down. That's fine. Okay, we can start now. <laughs> uh, My, Minecraft Earth is is shutting down. Talk, talk about a. An app that could not have potentially like kind of rolled out at the worst time because it's kind of based around being outside and social yeah, gathering. I, right. And, I don't remember what was going on, but when this thing launched, they had an event in New York City, like on the docks. And uh, I was invited to go, but I couldn't go. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't remember why. There was I, It was back when we used to travel a lot, probably, and I was doing yeah. something. But uh, yeah. That's too bad. I thought this thing looked cool. Yeah, it, it, something tells me we will see this like technology again somewhere, right? I mean, it's pretty. It's a pretty neat idea, um, but it just it just wouldn't work. I'm surprised, you know. Yeah. No way. But okay. Anyway, so you know, if you were playing a Minecraft Earth, um, you've got until June thirtieth. The quasi nice thing that Microsoft did is they removed all transactions, like all microtransactions. Um, and they mm -hmm. basically made it so like everything is unlocked. So if you really want to like get the full mechanics out of it, you can now. So, so now uh, more people are going to go use it while they still can, causing a super spreader event that will be traced back to Minecraft Earth. <laughs> the downfall of society is once again Microsoft. Yeah. And yep. if your controller's broken, Microsoft says they will fix it. That is. Yeah. 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 Um, <laughs> just, just a blaze. I've never episode. experienced this problem. So uh, people are apparently seeing it across all of the supported consoles, meaning all Xbox One and Series X and S. This is the new wireless controller, right? The one mm -hmm. that came with the Series X and S. But you can, you know, you can buy one. Um, I mean, I, I use the Xbox every single day. I've, I've yeah. never seen this. So, I mean, obviously, people are making it up. So let's just call them on it and move on. <laughs> <Just> <laughs> no, I mean, if you look at the support forum, uh, yeah. forum there are many people who have uh, complained about this. Issue. It wouldn't surprise me if it was like a specific um, like skew range of these devices that were impacted because they probably, I guarantee they probably have various iterations of the controller. They don't tell us on the outside, but they make some sort of mechanical change or something under the hood. And it wouldn't yeah. surprise me if there's like a specific like run that this impacted. You mean the 150 machines they had available at launch that run? <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> I'm a little, uh, I don't know if I mentioned the sleep issues. Uh, anyway, <laughs> <laughs> got off. Got off to good stuff. Um, so th I had to look this one up this morning. So as I do every morning, I wake up and I check like the admin console for Microsoft 365 because they have the running change log of everything. And there's honestly like it's effectively like a good news feed, right? Because it's like, okay, yeah. here's all the stuff changing. And it says Microsoft List app for iOS is rolling out. I was like, didn't that happen a long time ago? The answer is no. <laughs> It, it they announced this in May, and they made a big deal about it. And just now, are they getting around to rolling out the iOS app? So that'll happen. This, ha this, this happens too much. I, I got to say, one of the down, well, one of the many downsides to how much is released on the Microsoft 365 side mm -hmm. is that's what this will happen a lot. You know, you'll have a month where they announce 150 things. No one can keep track of this. You know, but there'll be some guy, some person, anyone who's like, well, they said they were going to do this one thing, and this is the one thing I really want, and it never happened. Does, you know, do you know what's going on with this thing? And it's like, you have to really research this stuff because yep. you're like, I vaguely remember this and you kind of lose track of it. Yeah. Um, like they made I, a huge deal in the spring yeah. about lists about how it was this new task traffic, task so, trapping, tracking is app. It, is it on Android? I don't know. Is that already? Ha I mean, yeah, right. Who knows? Yeah. Okay. I would assume. Actually, I, I mean, know. it will be right if it's not, but I mean, that's well, another thing, right? So, I mean, I guess I could just look it up easily enough, but I mean, Android, I, let's see. I, I just find this to be bizarre. Well, the fact it's that a the weird problem, you know. So if we go to Microsoft lists, the volume of Microsoft 365 product announcements has made it hard to track mm -hmm. the actual releases. I don't know. This is just plans and pricing. I don't want to. Yeah. The fact that it, I'm, the, looking the top... I'm looking in the Play Store. Oh, so, I was going to no, say the top the of the no, fact. 
I can't talk today. The top, the, the fact that the top search result, there we go, wasn't lists in the Google Play Store tells me that it's probably not there. They did do an iOS beta. It wouldn't surprise me if there's an Android beta. Um, it's not in the Play Store. That's all. It, so, so the top result in the Play Store is Microsoft To Do. Right. Which is not the colon, list app. The actual, the full name of it is Microsoft To Do colon list task and reminder. Um, and then, of course, SharePoint wow. comes up, Planner. Mm-hmm. Uh, one note, you can make a list in one note if you want to use that. Uh, Power apps, you could probably write an app to make note lists. Yeah, potentially. I bet you could. Uh, yeah. So there you go. There you go. Like if you were, if you were waiting for that. If you um, cared about this stuff, this would be this would be a, a fertile uh, avenue for writing. You know, if you if you really were into this, and this is what you wanted to write every day, um, just covering what Microsoft announced and when it actually comes out. And, you know, it, it almost needs like a wiki or something or like a fact. Well, fact yeah. would be too, a, what fact if would you be do a calendar? Good. Like that would a be. Calendar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you need, yeah, you need some kind of a, hmm, I guess you'd want to present it in different ways. Like date-based is kind of interesting, product name-based. Uh, it's hard to keep track of. Uh, even, you know, they'll do these end-of-month things where they're like, here's everything we did in December. Mm-hmm. And even that list is, aside from being humongous, right? is really vague because a lot of the stuff that's in there is this kind of thing. We announced that we are going to mm-hmm. do this thing to Microsoft Teams or whatever. And it may, maybe it comes in March, you know? So anyway, it's very, it's, this is a, this is a weird issue. It's not just for people like you and me. It's for maybe we end should, users. We should build and, something and, like this for Petri. Like it would actually. Well, yeah, I mean, it's like the Microsoft 365 tracker. Feature yeah. tracker, something like that. You know? the, the, the challenge here, having built, I used to do run, some people will remember this, a rumor site that did exactly that, rumor okay. tracking. Now, the Microsoft 365 one might be a lot easier to do. The rumor one is really tough because it's like, hey, an iPhone's going to launch in October or something, whatever. Then you got to cover the whole yeah. month. Um, well, I mean, I, I think what makes it hard, though, is the sheer volume of it, right? Well, I think uh, if you tackle this stuff flies it, by. You're like 165 features. 150 features, 175 features. And then I'll get an email. You will too, like in Mary Jo to everyone. Mm-hmm. Does. It's like, hey, remember back in April or March or something, Microsoft said they were going to do something. And you're like, yeah, yeah, sort of. Um, and then you have to research it. And you're like, yeah, I, see, there, I, I wrote it. I wrote a thing about it. Yeah. I do. Re- now I do remember it. But yeah, the, the, the problem I'm running to, like in my head mentally, is if you think, like they will very often say something's going to launch in the second half of you know 2021 20, whatever pick your thing so like if it's truly a calendar then there's just going to be one long bar that runs the whole length for the second half of the year waiting for something to launch but you know i, I mean yeah you almost need you almost need so i don't know would this be good for the public i guess it would be but for people like us again you almost need to set a reminder um and this is something you do with, with certain things like mm-hmm. um December 31st. Hey, Microsoft said they were going to do this by this time, <laughs> you know, or yep. maybe you do it for 10 days earlier or something. And then it gives you time to contact Microsoft and say, Hey, you guys said you were going to do this. <laughs> Where is it? You know? Um, yeah, this now, you know, now has me. Like, well, I'm just, it's an idea. I mean, it's, this, is this is, um, uh, this would be popular, you know, it would be useful to people. Right. Mm-hmm. I think, mm-hmm. but I just don't have the, uh, Lots yeah, I got to I got to think through. I got to think through how dexterity. it actually. I'm lacking in many areas, but um, <laughs> I don't know. Because the other thing too is not everything that ends up in the admin like update list would be an item in that calendar because some of it's just just random. Whatever. No, but it's nice when that comes out and you can kind yeah. of go back and say you know because by the way that also provides a um, and, you know if it's interesting enough right uh, or maybe it's a blog post kind of thing but you could say. Uh, Microsoft delivers this thing, and you could, and then you could trace it back and be like, they announced it on this day, and this is what happened. Maybe there was a beta, like you said, or mm-hmm. whatever. Um, keeping track of this stuff is a huge problem. I mean, we've we've had this conversation yeah. with uh, Jeff Teeper and with um, other people there uh, over, the, and you know, they agreed, like, like yeah, you know, it, it is a problem. Um, I've talked to PR about this. It's like you guys put out this ten thousand word post, like, is what we just did. Mm-hmm. And it's like, oh my God, how do you, I mean, I, I don't know. Well, there we go. That's something to noodle on. Let's kind of talk through it there. Yeah. It's Maybe you should get less sleep more often. <laughs> my brain's firing here. 
<laughs> the neurons are actually lining up in a logical way that you are. Well, actually, in a, in a really weird way, like you might be familiar with the, um, uh, there was a famous, uh, the Golden State, uh, the Golden State Killer, was that the name of it? The the serial killer um, mm -hmm. from California over many decades. Uh, Go on. Was finally caught with uh, DNA evidence, right? Mm-hmm. Um, there was that woman, and I'm sorry, I forgot her name, but she was she had a big crime blog thing. She was a writer. She investigated. Carmen San Diego. No, no, she <laughs> no. But unfortunately, this woman, uh, because of the horribleness of the case, the police the police actually worked with her, gave her all the evidence. She brought it to her house. She flipped through it. She found all this evidence that had been overlooked for decades, and they were narrowing down who was going to be the killer. But she had a small child. She was married to Patton Oswalt, the comedian, and um, she. Uh, she killed herself by mistake with drugs, um, with like Ambien and Xana. I don't even mm. know. I don't know the details of what it was, but she had huge sleep problems because this stuff. You know, the, the, there are photos of crime scenes and stuff. She's like a, like a normal housewife type. But she was just freaking out, and unfortunately, before they caught the guy, she ended up dying, and um, and then they did catch the guy. And she was like, she was pretty. She was going to solve it. Like there's no doubt about it. But um, but she she had these kinds of like you know, three o'clock in the morning, like, Oh my God, you know, <laughs> figure something out, whatever. But, um, anyway, there's a, there's a documentary about it on HBO. If you're interested in this kind of thing, by which I mean, uh, sleep loss and, uh, hyperactivity. It's a good story. Okay. Um, <laughs> did actually, speaking of that Microsoft controller, yeah. did they, what did they, I haven't read what this yeah. is. Um, yeah. how are they rolling this out? Is this like a dashboard update that's going to do it? Uh, they haven't said. I mean, right right now, what they're recommending is that people um, try to go update the firmware, mm -hmm. uh, and maybe the thinking there is that the original firmware version that came on the controller when they got the machine is causing the problem or something. But, um, I, I you know I, I think there's a way to update it on Windows too. I didn't really look into that, but on the Xbox, you know, there's a standalone app you can run uh, for. I think it's called Xbox. It might even be called Xbox Controller or something, mm -hmm. but. It updates the firmware in your, you know, to a connected controller. So, I don't know. I guess the, I, like I said, I've not experienced it, but my understanding is you connect your controller to where it can find you, run a game, and then the controller disconnects. And so you do the thing, you pop up the thing, pop out the battery, pop it back in, reconnect, blah blah blah. And it works for a couple of minutes, and it shuts down. Again, you know. Yeah. And some people are saying it's like particular games. Some people are saying it's multiple games. Um, it basically makes the thing unplayable. Um, I, I mean, you know, you done this. So you play a multiplayer game. It's like mm -hmm. you're at your controller's low. You're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> your guy doesn't move anymore. And you're like, oh, crap. I got to yep. pop the up corner. the batteries or plug it in or something. You know? So it's like that, but over and over again and not related to battery life. All right. Well, it's something to be on the lookout for. Yeah. Not really too much else happening at this point, I don't think. <clears throat> Just one quick update. Mm -hmm. Um Actually, I guess two related to this Mac thing. Um, a lot of people, you know, I mentioned that OneDrive wasn't working and it wasn't. And it finally started working. And I got to tell you, dude, this took 36 hours or more. It was, uh, it, it, you know, you know how OneDrive is like it, the first time it sinks, it's kind of doing its thing. You got to let it sit, you know. Yep. And on the Mac, it's probably worse because it's the Mac. And then, of course, an M1 based Mac, it's a finder uh, integration piece and so whatever. But, it wasn't like a couple hours. It was the next day and then several hours after that, but eventually it did work. So that that solved itself. I'm able to um, keep files, you know, fo a folder like on the system if I want that. So that's good. Um, the second piece, though, is that virtualization thing. And it turns out, this is weird, I, I, I write about Parallels all the time. I've reviewed Parallels. I couldn't find like a, a Parallels product key from this year. Hmm. So I contacted them and I haven't heard back yet, but... Um, the way this works is you have to download a, a technical preview version of Parallels Desktop that's just for the M1 Mac, Max. It can only run uh, ARM-based virtual machines right now. I assume that's not going to be the case forever. So Microsoft makes available, as some people must know, a inside a preview version of Windows 10 on ARM. Mm -hmm. You can download that, and you're supposed to be able to get that, you know, and then you can bring it up, and I'll see, you know, when I can get that done, I will. But the problem is... I downloaded everything, installed everything. It installed the virtual machine, but then when you go to run it, you have to put in your product key. So it's not something everyone can do. Like you have to own the product. And um, as soon as I get that, I will. I will do that. I, I'm actually surprised I haven't heard back from them yet. But um, I'm also surprised I don't just have it. But anyway, I will. Uh, 
I'll uh, write that up as soon as I can. But you know, there's a I, there is a there's a rich history of virtualization on the Mac. I mean, I remember meeting with Connectix, which used to make Virtual PC, which Microsoft later bought, and turned into Virtual PC for you know for Microsoft and Virtual Server before they did Hyper V, right? I mean, that was almost 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. um, so this has been a you know it's it's kind of a rich legacy here of this kind of stuff, processor architecture changes and then running like a different processor architecture in virtualization on a different processor architecture, which right now is not possible with this product, but I assume it will be. So we'll see. Yes, we will. I'm going to go to bed. Yeah, you will. 